Hey folks, and welcome back to Mount Glen Farm. Happy Valentine's Day. It is February 14th, 2023. And what better way to spend Valentine's Day out here cracking open cow pies. So here's a more mature one um, that I'm actually looking for a particular dung beetle. Right now, this time of year in the middle of February, you actually can find a, a couple of dweller dung beetles in your manure pats. Um, there's three types of dung beetles. There's tunnelers, the dwellers, and the rollers. And so the dwellers, as the name says, dwell within the manure pad itself. You gotta find some of the more aged ones. So I usually give it the kick test where I kick it with my boot and if it doesn't go or get smushy or gross on my boot and it is more like a cow pie, like a mature cow pie that will lift up like this and hold its shape, then that's usually the uh, consistency and texture and age appropriateness that those dung beetles like. They are very snooty. They must have finely aged manure pies. So already cracking this thing up here, we already got a little earthworm chilling out. Uh, earthworms are a fantastic sign of some macrobiology in your soils. So in the next couple of weeks or so, uh, the robins will come in and absolutely demolish all of these manure pats uh, looking for earthworms because um, a couple weeks ago I actually cracked some open and found a bunch of earthworm little babies, itty bitty little babies. I put it under the microscope. I'll have to post that, uh, that um, video I did on the baby earthworms. Very interesting. If you don't like wormy things, I would not recommend looking at that video. Very wormy. But anyways, what I tend to do is I like to crack these open and just take a look and see what's going on inside. A lot of times if you will see tunneling, little holes, um, that's either from earthworms tunneling in these more mature cow pies as well, which they really like, or it could possibly be from dung beetles. And I'm trying to see, I see some tunneling going on. And usually if you find one dung beetle, you find multiple dung beetles in here. Um, see a little egg in there. So I feel like there should be some dung beetles in here. Usually you, these are a reddish colored dung beetle. Of course I'm not finding any. I've looked at probably 20 calipies today and I've attempted to film this video at least three or four times and all the dung beetles keep falling off into the grass. So now of course I'm not finding any, but I'm gonna keep looking. There's that earthworm again. Earthworm, are there any dung beetles in here? No, there's another earthworm though. That's wonderful, that's fantastic. There's a tunnel, let me follow that. Nope, another baby dung, uh, earthworm. <laughs> Apparently I should have done this video on earthworms, which I definitely can. Uh, earthworms are fantastic because they use these mature cow pies as essentially nurseries. And if you crack these open, ooh, I finally found what I was looking for. Sometimes you have to be patient. So there's a little hole here. And if you look real close, it's really hard to see. There is a little dung beetle butt in there. I'm gonna crack it open and disturb disturb his slumber, unfortunately, for, for science's sake. So there's the little dung beetle. He just flipped on his head. Whoops. You can see his butt. Let's see if I can focus that a little better. And this is Aphrodeus fumitarius. He's got a black head and a red body. He is a dweller. Like I said, they are not native to the United States, but they have definitely naturalized themselves and are all over the place. Um, they overwinter in cow pies because they are dwellers. And even, so it's pretty warm today. It's about 55 degrees at the moment. Um, you'll see that they are still, they're still active. Um, and it's been two days ago, I had an ice storm come through and everything was covered in ice for at least 24 hours and it was below freezing. It was an awful mess out here, but so they're still active and they're still doing their, they're still doing their work. So these guys are wonderfully interesting 
their front legs actually have little spears all up and down their leg so that they can kind of crawl through the poo and um, tunnel down through the top layer or two of soil. Um, I believe this species itself, it, whoops, there he goes. Um, even though they are a tunneler, <clears throat> a lot of tunnelers, though they dwell within the manure pat and usually lay their eggs in the manure pat, some of them will actually also I'll put them back on a thing of manure here. Um, this way he's more comfortable. Some of them will also bury down an inch or two in the very top layers of soil to lay their eggs. And dung beetles bring a lot to the table. If you guys don't have dung beetles in your manure pats, again, this time of year, it's cold. These guys usually um, do most of their work between April and October. So he's coming at you. He's coming at you there. I'll see if I can get a good profile of him. Some dung beetles can bury 250 times their own body weight. And that's not all dung beetles, but even if you put 100 times your body weight buried down into the ground, I would be pretty impressed. So he's gonna go ahead and try to bury himself into a little nook and crevice there. We'll, we'll go, oh, there he goes. He went into the little hole, he's gone. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and piece this manure pat back together a little bit. I always feel kind of bad disrupting them, um, but it's always very interesting to see that even in the middle of winter, there's so much biology going on in our fields. All you gotta do is go out there and look. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Hopefully you're having a wonderful rest of your week and a wonderful winter, guys.